Hi there, this is Leanna with Tippy.com, and we're going to take a look at MathBoard on the iPad. MathBoard is an educational application aimed to help you develop and strengthen your arithmetic skills. Um, this is going to be a great app for children who are learning how to do various arithmetic operations, and um, let's go ahead and take a look. It is designed in a, as a quiz and you can decide which type of operations you want included in your quiz. Um, I have all of them set and we have a 10 question quiz so let's go ahead and go through it and see what this is like. So the first question is 6 squared. So that's 6 times 6 so that's going to be 36. 22 minus 2 is going to be 20. 19 minus 10 um, is going to be 9. 18 squared. Okay, so this is one that's going to be a little bit more difficult of a problem, so you may want to do scratch work. Down here is where you can write and do scratch work. So, and then you can tap the eraser to erase. So let's go ahead and work this out. So 18 squared is 18 times 18. So that's going to be 16, 9, 8, and 1. And this right here is my biggest complaint, is that this space down here is too small. It would be nice if you could extend it to be bigger or something, but you can't. So for me, I'm okay with now finishing my problem over here, but with kids that can be really confusing because they already know a very specific way they're supposed to do it, and if they don't have room to do it, it can just cause confusion. So this is my biggest complaint about this app. So um, anyway, this is going to be, what is this going to be? Two twenty six. Okay, square root of four eighty four. Now let's go ahead and get a question wrong. I actually don't even know the answer to this, so I'm just gonna guess. I believe twenty will be wrong. So oh, incorrect. So oh, the last one I got incorrect too. So up here it shows that I got them wrong and it's flashed incorrect. Um, I don't want to waste all of our time, so let's just go ahead and keep clicking ones. All right, this one is gonna be twenty three. 625, I believe that's 25. 18 divided by 2 is going to be 9. And 40 divided by 10 is be 4. Alright, so it says keep trying. You got a score of 70%. And it took me a minute and 58 seconds to do that. Um, so now I can save the quiz. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, it enters in a time and date that you can save it, you can rename it, whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and save it as that. And so now over here in my history, you can see I've taken this quiz. Are you sure you want to load this quiz? Yes. And did I not tap yes? Oh, that's the way I can play this quiz again. Okay. Um... Let's go ahead and we'll see how that works later. So down here in my settings, this is where I can choose which type of questions I want asked. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, squares, cubes, and square roots. Um, and I can check off anything I don't want. So if you just want to do addition and subtraction, just check those and you're good to go. You can also choose the number of problems in your um, quiz. I have mine set at 10. You can go all the way to, it looks like, quite a bit. Um, well, it's going to take forever to get there. There we go. 250 questions you can put. That is a lot of questions. Um, let me see if I can get it to go back really quick. Okay. Um, the number range. So do you want to deal with small numbers or do you want to deal with big numbers? I had mine up to 25. If you want really big numbers, you can put in really big numbers. This is required numbers. If you want certain numbers to pop up, you can check those. Um, you can allow for negative numbers. And um, what type of style you want. Do you want to lapse time? Um, a countdown, or do you not want to time yourself? Um, those are those settings. Um, and you can directly go to a, a setting quickly from down there. So that's just all the same stuff. So now let's go ahead and try this quiz. Do you want to replay the last quiz, or um, 
replay just wrong answers, or do you want to start a new quiz? So I got three questions wrong on the last quiz. I can go ahead and do just those questions over again to see if I can get them right. But we're going to do a new quiz. Um, nine. Again, I'm just going to quick, quickly just randomly pick answers so as to get to the point. As you can tell, I'm still trying to get them kind of right. <laughs> um, okay, so on this one I got a lot wrong. And let's go ahead and save this quiz. So now I've got both of these quizzes down here. My most recent one on top being a 50%. Um, but now we can go back to this quiz. And now we have all the same set, and you can see my results right here. And then I can go back to this one, and there's my results. And then I can redo the quiz. So, um, that's that's it. That's the application. And I think it's I think it's great. I think it's a great learning tool, and it's um, it's also one of those things. If you're bored, you know, I mean, I find math fun, but um, other people may not. But I mean, if you find math, you know, interesting, this can be a great way to just get better at your arithmetic skills. Because I know a lot of people aren't good at them, including myself. My arithmetic skills are horrible. So I'll be using this application. And um, again, my only complaint is that there is not enough space down here to really work out a lot of problems. Um, it would be nice if there was an option to make a bigger chalkboard just for doing your scratch work, close that out, and then select your answer. So um, there you go. That has been MathBoard on the iPad, and this is Leanna with Tippy.com. Thank you.